what kind of a cruel church makes you go to church, not just on Sunday, but on other days? Oh. As Catholics, we go to church not just on Sundays, but also on what we call Holy Days of Obligation. That's right. So we go to church, of course, on Sunday, because Sunday is the day of the resurrection. But we also go to church on other days. It's required of our faith. Why? Where do we get off doing such a thing? Isn't Sunday enough? Let's think about that. I mean, because what you're saying is, is that, well, if I go to church one day a week, I should never have to do anything else any other day of the week. You can't make me. But, you know, in some senses, we already do, and even other Christian churches that don't have regular Holy Days of Obligation do have Christmas Day. Christmas isn't always on a Sunday, is it? Nope. Christmas is always on the 25th, and the 25th floats around the calendar, right? Some years it's on a Sunday, some years it's not. And so uh, we have Holy Days of Obligation, even if you're not a Catholic. Now, as Catholics, we just have other days that we're obliged to go upon. Why? The church, because she loves us, wants us to become holy. That's the main purpose of the church. The church is the body of Christ on earth to bring about the holiness of her members, the saints. That's the reason we're here, and that's the reason for everything righteous in the church. Now, of course, there's also sin in the church, but that's a different topic altogether. The church's mission is for us to become holy, and so in her wisdom, she assigns certain things for us to do to become holy, to be transformed, like the holy days of obligation. Now, just Sunday itself is an obligation. Some Christian churches don't see that as an obligation, but we do, echoing back from, of course, the Ten Commandments to keep holy the Sabbath day. But there are other days that we also keep holy as well, like the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, like the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, like the Motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary, like the Feast of All the Holy Saints. We have these as holy days of obligation because it helps us become holy by doing holy things, by receiving the holy things. Our faith isn't just a matter of our willpower. Our faith is also a matter of our willpower in contact with God's grace, with God's word, to hear the word proclaimed. It's not enough just simply to read the word on your own, but to hear it proclaimed in the sacred assembly. All these things the church does in order that we might become holy. Now, you might say, oh, it's kind of a hassle because maybe the Immaculate Conception Feast is on a Saturday and I was going to go play soccer with some friends or whatever it might be. Tough bananas. Take the long view. Give up a game of soccer or whatever you're going to do on that Saturday and go to Holy Mass for the sake of eternity, for the sake of being conformed to the mystery of God and Jesus Christ. So while Holy Days of Obligations may seem burdensome, they may seem to come out of the blue if we're not attentive in our Catholic faith, they are still a gift for your holiness. They're not just uh, the church trying to make things more difficult, but they are a gift for your holiness, the gift for you to become the living image of Jesus Christ. And that's the whole point. Why are we Christian? Because Christ desires to live in me and I desire to live in him. Because I've met and encountered Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I'm getting like really big meta things on evangelization here. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's what fits in. Now, on the practical side of things, I suppose I could hit the practical point of view, is that Jesus did tell Peter, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. So there is an authority the church has to set these holy days. But again, the whole point of them is not just to give you hoops to jump through. Oh, there's another thing I got to do. Don't want to get tripped up. No, it's to make you holy by cooperating with God's grace. Well, I hope the next time there's a holy day of obligation in your uh, sights, you don't just look at it as a burden, but as that opportunity to embrace, to know the love of God and Jesus Christ as he desires through his church to make you holy. God bless you. I love you. Have a great week.